evening. This is uh, G8 ADM, Dave in Whitchurch, speaking to uh, Peter, G8 GYS in Andover. Peter's about um, seven miles from me, and we have uh, quite a good location. 300 feet above sea level but a 400 foot hill between us so it's not a very good path between here and Andover and we need rather more power than the 50 watts I'm running to uh, get into Peter anyway that's a brief demonstration of what we can do from here so uh, I'll go back to my grotty test card Of the camera, 
there because the, uh, the, the tube that we use in the camera possesses this kind of uh, light characteristic and it's rather difficult to eliminate it, particularly when you use the kind of light levels that we're using. I'm only using a lamp like that and a 100 watt bulb. Whoop, not very steady, am I? Get the sack of the camera on. And this rig here is uh, the forerunner of the FT-101, which I used to transfer to 70 centimeters. And on the rare occasions, I venture onto the HF uh, bands um, for that purpose also. Well, I think that's a very brief, but uh, hopefully, uh, put it back on the caption there, adequate description of uh, the station here. So we'll put it round to the very next band. Wish you all a pleasant evening. G3PYV signing with G8 uh, GYS, but uh, sitting in a picture, I suppose, as it's supposed to be TV. And uh, back to you, Peter. Fade. It's a fade, this. Hello, well that's what's uh, known in the business as a, a digital fade, I believe. I hope the IBA take note. Well, uh, this is Peter, G8GYS. A lot of Peters around up, the, up uh, Andover way. And uh, this is in fact the other end of the uh, transmission you've just seen, which was received off 70 centimetres. Uh, the, the equipment here, um, I've got two cameras basically, two monochrome cameras, both of which are in use at the present time. One of which is providing the uh, picture of me that hopefully you're seeing, yep, and uh, the other is providing the uh, caption which is uh, at the bottom there. Both cameras are being fed in to a, uh, a, two, a very simple two input mixer um, which uh, uh, with which I can control each uh, camera. So you can see I can fade out the caption there or fade it up or I can fade myself down or up. So uh, there we are. Uh, the signal from there on is going to the uh, videotape machine which, uh, which you can see here. Um, it's a Philips EL3400 uh, monochrome machine which uh, I have in fact modified in order to make it work in colour. This piece of equipment you can see down here is in fact a sync regenerator combined with a colour processor that enables stable colour pictures to be uh, played back. And you can see here that it, uh, it uses one inch videotape. Right, well, uh, the, uh, some of the other equipment that we've got here is perhaps a little less, uh, less technical, involves a little less electronics. Um, things like this, for instance. Uh, you can see um, the uh, captions I use, which are made up with the aid of Letraset and uh, on a piece of black paper and uh, fitted, into, in fact, into a, a purpose-built caption illuminator, which uh, um, enables the uh, signals to be fed from the camera into a colour synthesizer, which you'll be able to see, hopefully, a recording of uh, a bit later on. Uh, you can see here that the character format on my captions matches the electronic um, caption that you saw at the opening of this particular recording. Some other um, captions here, such as my CQ caption that I can use, I can make the different parts of this different colours as you'll be able to see in due course. Um, also have a test card here, this is a, a proper professional test card, it's a Marconi number no. 1 chart. Before I acquired that I had a homemade um, test card C probably remember the old 405 line test card C. This particular one has my old call G6AIU stroke T on it, um, which of course is now defunct because it, all the G6 stroke T calls were withdrawn by the post office at the beginning of 1977. Right, well talking of test cards, um, have in fact got an electronic test card generator, which is ideal for setting up monitors and for use on the air. Uh, without having to fire up a camera. Um, I can show you this if I cut to it. You can see there that it has basically um, at the top it's got colour bars, below that it's got um, my call sign electronically generated, below that frequency gratings, all of which unfortunately you won't be able to see because of the uh, limited bandwidth of the uh, videotape machine and uh, underneath that it's got grey scale. It's also got 
castellations and so on round the edge. Right, well here you see some of the uh, other equipment that comprises the station. Starting uh, here, we have um, a power supply, a power coder. Now you've all got, um, if you have a colour TV, you have of course got a power decoder in it. This is the other end, the transmitting end, that takes a red, green and blue signal and combines it together to make the coded PAL signal, as per broadcast standard. Here we have a colour synthesizer that I mentioned earlier, which uh, enables me to take a black and white caption and uh, make the different parts of it coloured, as you'll see. Here we have uh, a grill generator, useful for converging my colour monitor. Um, a distribution amplifier that uh, takes one input of, of what's selected here and uh, feeds six outputs to other uh, to various other devices such as uh, transmitter, videotape machine, monitor, etc. Here we have um, insertion test signal generator which puts the little white line that you've probably seen at the top of your picture at home. Um, this is a test line that enables measurements to be made while pictures are being radiated. <coughs> At the top here we've got a um, 70 centimetre transmitter, uses a QQV0640A in the final, about 40 watts of RF output. Um, below the transmitter we have here a, uh, a vision switcher, very simple, series of press buttons you select different vision sources with each one. And below that we've got the receiver. This in fact will receive both on the broadcast bands and also on the 70 centimetre amateur band. And the receiver in fact comes up on one of these buttons. Right, well, uh, the next uh, thing I think to look at is the um, uh, pulse generator, the master pulse generator, which uh, feeds the station. It's in that uh, box there. There's a colour bar generator, and below you see the equipment that generates the electronic test card and a few other little uh, things such as the character generator. Now all these are displayed uh, locally on um, colour monitor which is uh, just over there where you are at the moment. And uh, if we can move around a little bit, I'll try uh, notice some lag here that Peter was talking about earlier. It's rather an intense light source. The uh, colour monitor here is home built and uses a 19 inch shadow mask tube and uh, it is switchable to either encoded signals or it can take red, green and blue uh, signals directly in and makes a very useful uh, way of monitoring uh, the station. Well, that concludes the uh, basic equipment um, and uh, I think now we'll uh, have a short intermission. This is G8AER on 2 meters, G8AER television on 70 centimeters. And with that abortive attempt to um, make a replica of a digital effect, welcome to the uh, Howard television demonstration at the Wolverstein Club for the amateur Andover Radio Amateur Club. Now, this is a, an evening of um, some significance because it must be all of two years since G8 AER Stroke T has been on the air transmitting television properly and the um, stimulus of this evening has actually prompted the station to turn on the big switch and risk the explosion of the electrolytic capacitors to get back on television. But fortunately it worked and um, thanks to the cooperation and enthusiasm and encouragement of G8 GYS, here we are. I don't know what to say, really. I mean, I've been involved in amateur television for many years. I started off as G3 NDT stroke T, and then the powers that be said television is special. We'll call it G6, still with stroke T. So I became G6 NDT stroke T. And then a couple of years ago, they said television is nothing special. Anybody with a G8 or G3 call can transmit television. So I became G8 AER stroke T. A brief history of uh, television. It was about 1950.